Alright, welcome back to another stream. I missed last stream, which was Tuesday. Had a lot of normal work to do, but, oh man. But I'm here for a couple hours at least on a Thursday, feeling great, feeling refreshed. Got my coffee, got my day going. Life is moving. This is a. Uh, this feels to me like a very impromptu uh, live stream. Even though I know I do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I had nothing planned for today. So I guess we're just gonna continue these materials that we did last week. Uh, in the meantime, while this is happening, just know that uh, this is a pretty relaxed live stream, and you can uh, you can ask questions, ask questions in the chat, and. Uh, if I feel like derailing, we will derail and we will answer any questions or if you want to have a conversation in there, please go ahead. Ah, oh, man. Um, we're going to be going through materials. There's a couple things. I have to like reacclimate myself with the project file. But we're using my Tune Shader, which you can get in the link in the description below. It's on my Gumroad. A little Tune Shader for you. Uh, and right now, this isn't part of the tune shader, but that's what I'm working on. I'm, I'm working on getting these materials to, getting a variety of materials that are like presets already for the tune shader, so people could just use them out the box and stuff. And uh, the materials I'm trying to make are not going to be realistic in any way, shape, or form. I just want them to be good looking and fun and have a a look and an aesthetic that I enjoy. So that's what we're doing here. The last stream I did, if I'm looking at this correctly, uh, the last stream I did, I did like a gold material, like a weird metal material, and a wood material. Uh, the only thing that I want to fix right now, right off the bat, is that this, these three materials here are all working with uh, the HDRI, right? That is. Uh, on right now so if we go into our world setting you'll see there's an HDRI that I have it's like a free one that I downloaded it's called studio small um, and that's where this lighting is coming from that's where these reflections are coming from you can see my outliner there is no there is no hold on I gotta fix my computer settings there you go there is no um uh hold on there's no lights. That's what I keep wanting to say. There's no lights. <laughs> but I just want to fix my my camera here. Oops. Let's see. There we go. Sorry guys, I had to reset my whole camera setup. For stuff to work, there we go. Okay, all right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this is all set up with the HDRI, right? So you, let me just set this uh, glass up. It's gonna look a little different uh, when we set it up this way. So let's look at the materials we got here. Basically, what I need to put in between uh, the tune shader and it, uh, ooh, excuse me, is these uh, principal HDRIs. So let's do that. Or not principal HDRIs, principal shaders. What are they called? Principal BSDFs. All right. And then we also need a converter uh, shader to RGB. Convert that. And then it'll work. So let's put this guy here. We'll put that in the base color. We will do a similar thing down here. We'll put this in the base color. And now, judging by the way I set it up here, this should work now the way that I was intending it. Like how the rest of these are working. Because you can see that. Uh, let's see if I can show you. You can see on the, the HDRI that we have. Let's see. You can see this is the HDRI that I'm using. It's just like a simple, has some some low reflections, high reflections, pretty great throughout. So, uh, pretty simple stuff. That's what's on there. So that's what we're using. 
Uh, eventually, I plan to convert them so they're not using an HDRI, but you know, sometimes you want these materials to look a certain way, but you don't want it to affect the rest of the world and blah, 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 blah. But I don't know. That's what we'll do. So let's shit, shit, change this to lights. Let's see how much we have to change after that. It's loading. You can see it's gray. It's a gray. Um, all right, so a lot changed. It's missing the reflections now. So let's see if we can bring a lot of this stuff back. So let's take away this intensity. And we have to take it off the second one. And take it off the second one. And then we'll see what's up here. This should be the baseline. Is there nothing? Is this really what it is? Okay, there it is. All right, the baseline I think is supposed to be five here, so that's what we'll do. Uh, and now we'll mess with these highlight settings and we'll bring them in very subtly. I think I can hold, is it control? No, it's shift. So let's just bring it in very subtly. All right, 3.50. We may have to input a number here. Maybe like three point three four five maybe three point wait four okay we'll do that for right now uh and then we will reset these so these make more sense here just moving these around i guess uh affects that so uh muhammad hello hello good to see you thanks for joining the chat here Thanks for joining me. Oh, you know what? You know, you know what? Let's just let's just not affect that one yet. Let's just continue to make a new one. I can sit all there right now. It, it's looking OK. It's glass it has an effect on it. It looks pretty good, uh, but I am missing something here. There it is. I'm missing kind of like that, that texture that, that goes onto it. The third shader looks like it comes from Star Wars. The third shader. Oh, yeah. Right? Like the uh, like some of the, the spaceships and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I was just playing around with like the wave texture on that one to see if I can, I don't know, make something interesting here. I think it's right here. Make it really thin. Has a cool effect on it. I liked it. That's why I kept it. <laughs> but yes. I'll keep it then. Since you think it's cool, I'll leave it and we'll continue forward. Alright, so we got this wood texture. Ooh, almost spilled my coffee. Okay, so I got this wood texture. And uh, you can see, move the light around here. Um, and I think it looks, I don't know, decent pretty good maybe it's like too detailed i don't know but we're probably going to move forward from this one as well like if we affect some of the highlight stuff here you know maybe there's too many colors going on but if you make it really dark it looks kind of cool though you know looks like it'd be part of a, a ship deck <laughs> All right, so what's another type of material that we can make? So I'm going to duplicate this shader ball. I like this shader ball. I think uh, shift D, uh, G, grab I think X by two, I think. There it is. By two, uh, we have our materials here already set. And I'm just going to do the wood, duplicate it here, new material. Uh, and for right now, it'll be called wood. What is the pink window in the shader editor? So this is the tune shader that, so if you go into my, the, the link in the description, 
on my Gumroad. It's free. I made a tune shader, and this is something I made, right? So if you go into this shader, this is like this whole web of uh, nodes that I made, so that I can have fine control over the highlights and the color and like whether it's an emissions the great like there's a lot you could do with this shader like you can add in a, a gradient you know if you really wanted to that can add in uh, an interesting look uh, there's a lot you could do with this shader uh, and I'm still improving it there's still it still needs a lot of work but that's what this is that's what um, this shader is it's just oh this doesn't even work on it anymore we gotta fix that Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's it's basically like a, a very advanced or a, a, a not advanced a, a, a tune shader with extra steps. There's a lot of extra steps in there. Oh yeah, if you're a noob at shader, you should definitely do some YouTubing, learn learn how the the shader editor works. But if you have any questions about shaders, this is a little bit beyond. Like you, this is specifically using my shader here. Uh, or my group group node, I should say. Um, but if you have like any actual general questions, <laughs> uh, feel free to ask. All right, let's see if we could start again. Let's see. So there's a. If you ever want to get like free textures, you just have to go to this website called Texture Haven. Here it is. They have a lot of uh, textures that people provide. And it works. They have so many. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. You know, definitely go to Texture Haven. They do it. I remember back when textures were hard to come by. I had to go through all these like weird websites just to get anything decent. Ah, so let me look for a texture here. Let's do a floor. Uh, and I want to do like a, a tile. Let's see. I like all these brick ones. They're fun. Thanks, but it's complicated with the university. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. I forget. You got like you got a whole day job. The job being the university and studying. <laughs> all right. Let's do tile the floor. Just gonna download it. 2K. All right, let me save this. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just saving that tile that I found on Texture Haven, and we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. All right, that is saved. Thanks, but it's complicated with the university. What are you studying in the university, Mohammed? What is it that you are learning? That you are going for? All right, let's change this material to this tiled one. Uh, I'm also going to make a, a play material here, bring it up, rotate on the X90, uh, electronics and automatics, that's pretty cool. So is that like, you want to do like electrical engineering or is it like robots, <laughs> which, you know, I assume is like electrical engineering, but it's pretty cool though. this down all 
All right, let's see if we can make a flat. I don't know, something flat here. It's both kinda. Well, that's awesome. You wanna make some killer robots? I'm just kidding. You wanna make, what is it that interests you the most in that? interesting how much it affects the uh, the the flat texture instead of the the round texture I wonder if there's something I could do to fix that let's see let's rotate on the X I guess it doesn't matter all right Yes, I like robots and printed electronic cards. Nice. Sounds like a fun time. You just started? Are you in the middle of it? Are you by the end of it? <laughs> All right, let's 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 work down this down the middle here. So we got our flat, blah blah blah. It goes in. If I move this around, all right, so this is really affecting it. I wonder if this texture is just not good for this type of thing I'm trying to do here. Let's do a color ramp. I'm in the middle. Nice. Do you use Blender for any of this, for any of that type of stuff? Are you using Blender for like electrical any of that any of this stuff all right i think i can control this a bit better here yeah maybe this is like way too textured for my uses right like let's put in a value into the scale we'll do one and then we'll just change it to see how it looks all right let's take a let's see if we could take away can we smooth this out i wanted to do it but it's kind of hard for realistic cards Yeah, you probably have to use like cat or something, right? Like something more precise than Blender. <laughs> Not that Blender can't be precise. You have to use a bunch of add-ons though. From my memory, at least. Oh man. Oh man. <sighs> Alright, let me start over. I'm closing this. Erase that. Close that. I'm gonna save it. Let's give it the wood texture. Let's erase all this stuff. <laughs> I 
Let's erase it all. Let's erase it all. Let's start from the beginning. This is what happens when you take too long of a break from a project. I totally lose the momentum. Right, so we're just going to erase all this stuff. We're going good. Okay. Now we have a direction that we're pointing here. We could take down. Our thing there. We can lower this. We'll lower it down to five. So we can start getting back what, what we're looking for here. Okay. Let's change these colors. Let's add some make it a color let's do like all in the blue range I'll make this one the darkest or red and we'll make this one lighter like a light blue and then we'll set desaturate this one there okay there we go we're starting from the basics here let me erase some of this, bring it in. And this is what we have in the beginning here. All right, Evelyn, hello, good to see you. I was looking for starting 3D and did a donut tutorial. It took me more than a week to finish. That's understandable. 3D takes a while to learn and honestly, finishing it is the biggest uh, is the most important thing finishing it. No matter how long it took you, because you get to learn everything from start to finish. How did you start 3D? I started 3D. I don't know, like five plus years ago, uh, and I started with the donut tutorial, <laughs> Blender Guru's donut tutorial way back when. I, I did VFX and I wanted to do 3D in my VFX in film and stuff. Uh, so I learned. I learned Blender. I learned Blender. And it was good. It was worth it. I tried learning so many other softwares. I tried learning Maya, Cinema 4D, um, 3D Studio Max. Um, at one point, way in the beginning, I tried using Lightwave. That was a whole situation. Yeah. So uh, Blender ended up being the one I stuck with. Uh, and this was before all the good improvements. I, I had I liked it before it had before it was it was good. No, I'm kidding. Our big Papa Guru, yes, he's probably started so many people's careers. It's like amazing. But yeah, he definitely, that was definitely the jumping off point, showing how amazing Blender can be. And now it just keeps getting better and better. Honestly, every year I'm like super, super impressed. All right, I'm going to add in a texture here, and it's going to be the tile one. I just want to see what it looks like now that we're simplified here. Tile the floor. Looks kind of interesting there. We'll take off this. Let's do a sphere. I'm just curious. Sometimes these different projections look really good. This one does not. Maybe square or box, I should say. You know, it's all about like these subtle, <laughs> the subtle, uh, the subtleness here with these materials. All right, we'll do flat. All right, I just wanna see now what it looks like on a flat surface. What is it that you wanna make in Blender, Mohammed? I, I think I've asked you this already. But I forgot, I'm sorry.
what's interesting is that it doesn't really work on these tiles, man. It just turns a different color. Does it need more geometry? No. Does it need a second light? No. Should I put generated instead? Quite peculiar. I wonder why. What am I doing wrong? I did a couple things in Blender, but the majority is from tutorials. I feel like I'm depending on the tutorials. I don't know. But, but I know, but what is it? When you when you look when you think about Blender, what is it like that you want to make? You're like, oh, I want that looks cool. I like to make, you know, most people are like characters and you know animation and stuff like that. Some people like to do the abstract stuff, right? So that's a whole thing. What is wrong with this man? Unwrap. Tiles are good. We're tiled up. If I put this just straight in, let's see what it looks like. All right, that's definitely not what it should look like. There it is. Okay, there's our tile. Looking much better. The rotation. Actually looks like tiles. All right, let's put a color ramp in between it. It's black and white. We can make it a little bit more extreme. Realistic sci-fi, cool electronic cards. When you say electronic cards, do you mean like I don't know, like graphics cards, or do you mean like the PCB boards? Electronic cards. Like what are some like, FPGA? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna Google that. Let's see, what's FPGA? Uh, field programming gate arrays are semiconductor devices that are based around the mixture of configurable logic blocks, CLBs, connected via programmer interconnects. FGPAs can be programmed to desired application functionality requirement after manufacturing. Okay, so these look like chips. I mean, I'm sure I'm using the, the wrong word here. But when I look at it, yeah, I see a chip more than a board, but... I mean, I'll just call them FGPAs. Field Programmable Gate Arrays. Okay. That makes sense. It's cool sci-fi stuff. Yeah, yes, kind of. No, I definitely know. I am not educated in any of that. I'm a, I'm a caveman. When it comes to that type of stuff. At least. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this to show. Uh, and since it's... No, you're right. No, no, don't give it to me. Oh, there it is. Where is it? So it's on the opposite end, okay. Interesting. All right, can I mess with this? All right, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna put this back to linear. Am 
Muhammad. Can you can you send me a can you send me a picture of a cool electronic card or a cool sci-fi thing you like on a Discord? <laughs> On the Discord, if you can, if you're not busy. It's interesting, I only get two colors out of this. Yeah, they are. I... Oh, you just send it, uh, if, just send it to me. Or any channel, really. Let me see. Hold on. The psh, psh, ideas and feedback, maybe. This will also test if I, I'm new to like the Discord thing. Or yeah, either send it to me or that channel. I'm still figuring out this whole Discord thing because like it has a lot of issues. Good day, Grease Monkey. Ferd, good to see you here. We're just making materials. I was chatting with Muhammad. He's going to send me a picture of something cool, sci-fi, and then we'll, we'll see about breaking it down. I'm kind of bored of these materials, so the thumbnail is going to be lying for anybody who jumps in. We're going to be jumping into sci sci-fi. Let me know when you send it, Mohammed. Mo. Hama. Mohammed. Online. Anyway, for good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Missed you last Tuesday since I missed the stream. Shame on me. Me, Mo, or Amen. I like Amen. <laughs> oh, you can call me Mo, not Mimo, like M E M O, but Mo. So Mo, let me know when you send that picture. So I'd like to look at it on stream right now, live. Amen is my middle name. All right, the material's looking good. It looks dirty. I think I just need a clean tile. And honestly, I could probably just make a tile, add some texture to it without needing a texture on it. You know, like, doesn't have to, <laughs> doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be this way. Looks cool though. A little too dirty though, right? What if we flip it? All right, does this have like AO distance? Oh yeah, that's right, AO distance. Give it some, <laughs> make it some weird colors. Oh man. Do I have AO on this? Maybe if we can add some AO on the wood. What if it was like a dark brown color? I guess it makes it look just more realistic, which is like more stuff. Obviously, if we put some bright colors on here, it would look weird. Hmm. All right. Okay, so we have this material. It's looking bad. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't like it. So here's our base. It's what we've been using. We got the stuff. 
let's see if we can just do it with like a procedural texture here. So let's, let's delete some of this stuff. Let's add a Veronae texture. Let's see where we're at with our life here. Let's see if we can make something cool looking. Is it color that I should be putting here? I think it's probably color. This could be like a stained glass. <laughs> Alright, let's put it on generated. It's a little better there. Mmm, excuse me, but maybe we could put... I did a kind of sci-fi thing in Blender. I made it on my... I made it my PC wallpaper. Nice. All right, that's not working. Does color only work on here? This is kind of weird. Distance the edge. Distance the edge. Sometimes these like inputs are like, are like a uh, how do you say it? A a float number instead of like a color, which is like an array. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work. But it also doesn't work here, so what am I talking about, right? Oh, it's because I'm not outputting the color. So if we do like this one, this color ridge goes out. Makes it look look cool, bro. Look cool. If we make this in emissions, let's see. Put the bloom on. It is on. <laughs> Be like a glowing, like, oh my god, it's so bright! Ah! I'm just kidding. Look at that. That shit's like... like I have to, like, squint. My eyes. Alright, so Mo in chat. I'm, do you mind if I show it on stream? Because I'm going to show it on stream. Let's see. All right, so this is what you made. Look at that. That's looking pretty cool. Did it in Blender. I remember making my first planet. It's good stuff right there. What else we got here? Hold on. See, let's see what else Mo. And then the pictures above is what you sent that you thought looked cool, right? Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them. Yes. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to save some of these onto my desktop. We're going to go through them, see if we can find any educational stuff. Because <laughs> since I'm doing the stream impromptu, I kind of kind of got bored with the materials, lost my steam for it. Let's see if we can make some interesting stuff here. Save image. We're just we're just living life here, guys. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Uh, start a new, let's start a new file. Let's get those images in here. Image editor. That's one. That's two, that's three. I think I'm missing one. Yes, I'm missing this one. And here's... Four. 
Okay. All right. Let's look at some. Let's look at some of these pictures, and see if I can. I can help you. I can help you learn something new. That can enhance your photo. So this is the one you made, right? I like it. It's good. It's pretty bright. But that's the sun, right? A big ball of light out there. Um. Yeah, it would be dark. It would be dark in there. All right, and then some of this thing is cool. So what's cool about this planet, right, is uh, oh the the detail that you can also use to enhance your Kelly. Chris Mikey, homie, what's good? Hanging out, doing the one stream this week. <laughs> good to see you, Kelly. You can see that in this planet, uh. It doesn't have like the 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 reflection of like the atmosphere, right? And that's what's being implied, I think, here, is like for some reason this atmosphere is blue or it reflects blue, you know, some sort of scientific reason on why it'll it'll glean and scatter light into the blue spectrum, you know, it absorbs all the red color and all that stuff. Which is funny because uh, the planet's kind of like red, so that means it absorbs all color but red, and then this absorbs all color but blue. Anyway, interesting stuff. Uh, and it's on both of these. Oh, we got the stars in the background, so that's pretty cool. And then we got the the disc. That's pretty cool, too. Let's see this other one. This one's cool for, like, the... I like the atmosphere and the distance. It kind of blurs out the horizon line. Um, I actually have a... Uh, an add-on that could just add little characters like this <laughs> you know what I mean uh, I'll show you I'll show you that too uh, just so you know same thing here giant little character this is like one material the smoke is probably the most uh... yeah yeah re re really really I'll show you I'll show you we'll, we'll go through all the things this is this is some good this is some good streaming content right here uh, you got these light rays, which are pretty cool. You know, I think there's different ways to do that. I don't know if we'll get through all of it, but I'll see. If I'll, I'll attempt to make some light rays. We can fake some light rays. We'll do like we'll do we'll do it the fake way, and then like the more computer intensive way maybe. If we get to it, I, I can only do this stream for like about another hour and a half. So I hope. Uh, yeah, I hope I can do that. All right, and then this last one. Oh no, that's everything. So. What I'm picking out of these are like this light ray stuff. The smoke is pretty good. How do we do shiny medieval armor with your shader? Oh, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. I will do a shiny armor then. Uh, right after. I'm going to go through some of this um, stuff with Mo. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do the, the shiny armor. It's pretty simple. We, we already did it with your character, Kelly. I would just be doing the same. I'm just going to be doing the same thing. <laughs> but I'll do it. It's no problem. All right. Uh, so one thing, Mo, that I'd, I'd like to, to to show you is uh, to get, like, this, sh this, this shine on here, right? So uh, let me – let's make a let's make – let's make an orb. It's going to be our planet. Uh, and I'm gonna just download the texture. If y'all, if anybody doesn't know, you can NASA has like textures for the Earth for free, like Earth free. NASA Earth free download. Let's see. So if you go to Kelly, my character didn't have. Kelly says it's my character. Didn't have... All right. All right. Well, it's gonna be the same thing except without the texture of leather. So basically, we'll do the same thing. Let's take this here. You, you'll see. I'll show you. So if you go uh, type in NASA, you can get these pictures for free, like the Earth and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna download, you know, one of these. It doesn't matter. Just uh, just as a baseline here. Yeah, these pictures are huge. They're like 10,000 pixels. <laughs> They're huge. All right, 
right, this one's should be a decent size. All right, there you go. All right. All right, so I downloaded an Earth. Uh, and then I'm going to put in the texture in here. It's on desktop. Here's the earth texture. Download it for free. And let's just do materials. Mo, you said that you weren't good at shaders. So if you just go to shaders, you add in a shader here. We'll call it earth. Uh, you know, you already did this. What am I talking to you about? You already did this. You made that image. So we're just going to get you to there. And I just want to show you how to do that atmosphere thing. Which I think is pretty neat. So we'll add in the earth, put it in here. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. That's fine. We'll make the light into a sun. If we will bring it down. We will make our background black. The blackness of space. All right. We'll actually bring in the light a little higher. Oops. There you go. We'll bring in the light a little higher. I'm going to look at it from this side view. I'm going to rotate it. I'm actually going to rotate it from the the 3D cursor here. There we go. We got our thing going on, looking good. All right. Uh so, you know, obviously we could fix all this stuff take the specular off we'll leave the specular on but we'll just put the roughness I guess we could just for right now we'll just take specular off so it doesn't matter right so we got our earth or whatever so there's like two ways you can add in like that atmosphere right so like you could do it with all within the same shader or you can add it in as a as a separate orb right and this is going to be done in Eevee so it's like easier uh kelly yes can you send it yeah let me know when you send it we'll do it right after right after this okay so so there's two ways you can do it you can do it within the shader or you can add in a separate object and add it to that right so i'll do it with the separate object first so we'll call this earth and we're going to duplicate this earth uh and we're going to take off the material so we can see it and we're just going to make it slightly bigger right so you can see that this if you can't tell, but the the orb, <laughs> the the we'll put atmosphere at atmosphere, and we'll put these in their own collection. Okay, okay. So you can see that there's the atmosphere, which is a little bigger, right? So we'll go back. What we have to do first is to make this uh like invisible right so we'll add in a second material here or we'll add in a material for the atmosphere you know we'll call it atmosphere i i think i'm spelling atmosphere wrong but it doesn't matter for me atmosphere uh and then we take off the principal shader and we add in a texture shader uh not a texture shader a shader called transparent we put that in there nothing happens right because what you need to do is under the atmosphere when you have this highlighted in the materials in the settings in the blend mode you change that blend mode to alpha blend and now it's invisible we can't see crap right so that's good but you're like okay what's the what's the point so then the second thing you want to do is you want it if we look at our original image here you want this this kind of has like a glow to it right like you want it to like glow a little bit so to have a glow we're going to add in a uh, another shader we will do emissions and for right now we have this all set up but for right now we'll plug in the emissions you see that this is like white and if you go into bloom you see that it starts to glow and let's make it into a blue color just to, for demonstrations and you can see that I can make it glow right so that's obviously an exaggerated thing so what I want is this glow to be at the ends of it but I want to be able to see the planet in between right so we have the glow and we have the transparent right so what we need to add now is just a mix shader, right? So you add a mix shader, connect both of these, right? And put it in here. 
So now you see it and you're like, all right, cool. It's blue. I can't see the middle. Um, and if I go, so when you, when you're in a mix shader, this zero, right? This factor is basically how far along is it to the shader? So if it's at zero, it's on this first input here, right? If it's at one, it's on this input here, right? And if it's at 0.5, it's 50%, um, it's 50% transparent and 50% emissions. That's why you can still see it. It's kind of transparent. It's kind of midway. But what we want is like control over where it's transparent. Like we want the middle to be like kind of like fully transparent. And w what we do for that is a thing called Fresnel, right? And a Fresnel, let's see if we can Google a quick picture. Hopefully it doesn't confuse you. And if anybody in chat can explain for now in like a sentence. Yeah, so for now basically is any light that's like hitting uh, at, at, a, at a certain angle, which is like the, the side angles. That is what the Fresnel is coming from. And everything coming directly at you is, is not there. I don't know if you, <laughs> I'm explaining it right. But just know that it's like light that's like skimming off the sides of like a rounded object. Or round or, or or objects itself right so that's what the fresnel is there is a an input for that right so we have that it's in here it's all it's called fresnel and then that's what we put the mix shader so instead of it being deciding between zero and deciding between one it decides through that angle fresnel that effect so we just connect that in there yes Exactly. So light reflected on the edge. As long as you understand it. I, I have trouble uh, explaining it sometimes. So there we go. We have the Fresnel. And now when you control the Fresnel, you can see that you can control the outer edge there. And you control it with the IR. Um, there's obviously a realistic number that you're supposed to put in here for like realistic stuff. But um, you can hold shift and control this. This is way too bright. So let's just put it to one, right? And then you can control the the effect like that, right? And then since it's on a separate atmosphere, right? You can control the size here, right? And there you go. And then that's how you add that effect. And then to have like even further control, so like you set it to a number that kind of like makes sense there. If you put a color ramp in between, this allows you to control it even further. So you can make this first one here is the middle, right? So you can make it more 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 like opaque. Or more invisible and then this is the edge so you can make it actually go away so you can make it like really subtle make it really bright you know <laughs> maybe even change the the interpolation to be spline I'll put this to white it's really bright we can lower the the or like mess with the oh damn I screwed this up there we go. And you can kind of have like this shine going on and stuff. And that's how you can add add some extra oomph. This is way too extreme, right? Like you should definitely just kind of like tone tone it down, etc., etc. But that's a way to add in in that. I usually don't like to use a Fresnel though, funny enough. I like to use this thing called layer weights and do the Fresnel from here. I'm not sure what the difference is. But sometimes I... I it works better for me. You know. Okay. So then that that's like one way to do it. And you could do it all with it. You could do it within the, the shader itself. Or no, within the object. Or you could do it within the earth shader. So let me erase the atmosphere. So. What I'm going to do is going to do the same thing. I'm going to add in a mix shader. A mix shader. Uh, I'm gonna add in the Fresnel. I'm gonna add in the transparent. You know, all the same thing, but you could do it you just within one shader, so it doesn't have to be or within one object. So we'll do that. And may you may want this, you may not, but just so you understand how these these nodes work. Uh, what do we have? Emissions, right? So it was like a blue color, uh, and then we had a transparent. Uh, we'll put those in there. Uh, we'll make sure that in our settings, this is the important thing, we have uh, this blend mode to alpha blend. Uh, I'm going to take shadows off. Nope, shadows on. Never mind. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, so we have our the whole the whole setup within here, and then we just have to connect this to a uh, another mix shader. So we have our original earth texture connected to our Fresnel setup, and we put that in here. Let's see what happens. Like, <laughs> so it looks kind of ugly, and it's definitely acting weird. But you can have it within the same shader here. You see, and then you can add in the color the color ramp. extend it here and then you could do it just all within the same you know the same thing you know what I mean the same same old same old thing here we can obviously make our light brighter so you can see the earth better let's get like 50 <laughs> 30 and there it is and then that's like that that little thing that you can add to your your earth render to like i don't know add some add some more oomph to it too but i think it looks really good i say good job you got you got aesthetics mo all right kelly you said it has been sent this has 75 megabytes blah 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 blah, blah. okay let me see if i can find that kelly Uh, I will redo it. Send you the results when finished. Oh man, you don't have to redo it, Mo. You can just make a new one. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I just wanted to show you a, a trick since you're learning Blender and you're new to shader nodes, and I can show you a trick to for stuff. So I, yeah, I hope it helps. A simple thing you can do to add in a little a little extra flavor to your your stuff. GM, um, where, where the shader only show, Gre Kelly says, Grease Monkey, the issue where your shader only shows in black and white seems to be only in 3.2a, it works fine with 3.1. Well, great, I have still having, had, I've been so busy this week, I haven't had a chance to even try it with uh, 3.2 alpha, but is there a reason that you're using 3.2 alpha, Kelly? Like, what a feature is in 3.2 alpha that made you get it and start using it or are you just using it because you like to be on the cutting bleeding edge <laughs> i just try to stay ahead but kelly staying ahead is great and stuff but like then things break <laughs> like my shader why 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 go why go ahead if you have no specific reason to go ahead. I mean, I usually like to stay on stable versions. Mostly because I do these streams and I need things to work and stuff. But, you know, staying on the cutting edge is fun and stuff. But when things break, I'm, it's going to be time. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, is this supposed to be like a gold? Supposed to be like gold armor. Let's see. So you know some of the masters that use tutorials always seem to use the most latest alpha. Yes, it was supposed to be gold armor. Uh, Kelly, for your <laughs> yes, the masters do the the latest alpha. They're also making content, <laughs> so they they like to stay. So when somebody when people are always using the alpha, it's because they're always using new features because they're always trying to make the next tutorial or they they're awaiting a certain feature and stuff. But um, but you know, I, you know, look, I'm not telling you not to go on alpha. I'm just saying like. Uh, if you're learning Blender, 
uh, going to alphas and using add-ons and all that stuff, stuff's gonna break. Then and then you're dealing like with another headache on top of like learning Blender. And Blender already makes amazing things currently, and it's only like incremental stuff or whatever. Unless you like, like I said, if you if you have a very specific reason, but um don't know how to fix their issues example like if you were on a project right and you're using my tune shader and then you started using 3.2 alpha and then it breaks and then i'm busy and i can't update it and then you broke your your the project file anyway do what you want i was just curious if it was for a specific reason because i'm curious on what people are interested uh what what people are excited for in 3.2 alpha Uh, all right, it's supposed to be gold armor. Okay, so looking at this, let me set some stuff here. Let me set some stuff up here. All right, I'm going to make this uh, rig invisible. We don't need to see it. And are all these... All these are all different materials how many gold materials do you have you have a lot okay all right let's isolate some of this stuff i want to isolate we'll get rid of his hair or get rid of his hands his head his eyes this stuff here okay let's do some cleanup work here for visibility sake, we're gonna take off info and statistics and all this stuff, which is good for for you. But I need to sh I need things to be clear here. There we go. Okay, let me see where where are all your lights? Oh, this this shader is not affected by lights, so you should be good. Okay, I'm just going through your file, trying to make sense of it right now. You got that gold armor, pretty cool. Okay, so first things first, I think, what is this? Oh, that's that, okay. Is this a different shader? Mix shader, material shader, material output. You have two material outputs. Am I like going crazy? Oh, you got it for cycles. You got one for cycles, one for EV. That's pretty cool. So you have it set up for both. All right. First things first, let's look, let's see some of your settings. Let's start from the basics. Oh, one's an outline. Okay. So let's start from the basics. Let's. I'm going to take off this AO distance. Fresnel is off. Good. Gradient. Good. 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 So usually what you want to do is you, the highlight color should be the highlight color. Right now you have it as like this yellow, but you should probably have it at the top here. And then this should be the yellow. There we go. So this should definitely go into like an incremental order. Oh, take care, Mo. If you're leaving. Take care, take care. Thanks for hanging. Uh, so. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. So this should be in order. This should be light. This should literally be the highlight color. This should be the shadow color. You know what I mean? That's what you, that's what it should be. All right, and then you always want uh, you want to creep this up a little bit. Th By the way, this is how I would shade it. This is not like how you know you can have a different opinion on how you want this. You know, this looks pretty pretty decent. Uh, and yeah, and you got like the brick. <laughs> it's funny, it's like a brick texture and stuff, uh, and it kind of gives it like that that extra texture and stuff. Um, and it looks like some of this stuff is not 
so just so you know like this is using like the uv the uvs right uh that's why there's like some stretching going on here so like if i were to look at our uvs let's actually look at them Oh, looks pretty good actually let me unwrap it I'm gonna unwrap it with a cube projection instead and <laughs> see if that looks any better it does there's less stretching there's same the same thing with here there's stretching in here you can see it's all on this line here so I'm gonna do the same cube projection there that adds in some less stretching let's do that with the arms let's do that oh you have it you have it pretty set with the arms you're good uh, let's see this one There you go. So, you know, cube projection works pretty decently for like not stretching your stuff. All right, let's see. This doesn't have any textures. That's, I think it's the same thing. It's using UVs. So let's unwrap cube there. The same thing here. Select all, unwrap cube. Okay. All right, and then you got like this this weird clipping going on here. And I wonder if that has to do with something here. Interesting. I wonder if this is just a, a thing from like the, the metal or whatever. Anyway. I don't know what else you want, Kelly. This is this is pretty much it. So basically, what you gotta you you gotta want to do is make sure that your UVs are set, especially if the uh, the shader is using UVs. You can see it's using it here. You just edit mode, select all U Q projection. That should fix some of it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, there's the lights. not sure what, <laughs> what else what else you want here um i i made the the gold texture right the gold material from like my, my stream before so let's see what that will look like on here let's do it on the chest plate we'll do an append let me append it one second Let's see what this looks like. All right. So since you have no world, this is reliant on like a an HDRI. So let me All right, let me append the world setting here. I'm going to make this background invisible because it can get kind of annoying to look at. So let's make that invisible. There we go. Okay, let's add in that texture to the rest of them. So we'll just do, what is it, gold? Look how shiny he gets. Looks a lot shinier. Yeah. And Kelly, you uh you have access to this gold material. It's in it's on the Patreon. You could definitely download it and just add it to 
Add it to the your stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can tweak some settings. Yeah, you can definitely mess around with some stuff here. Definitely metallic. Make it super bright. <laughs> How do you tone down the shininess of the gold? Uh, you just do the highlight color, right? The the highlight color. You turn the intensity down. Let's put the intensity down to zero, right? And we'll slowly increment it up. Oh, I forgot to add it onto this. Let me do that. There you go. Anyway, you slowly hold shift and increase all our colors here. Oh, okay. First, put your intensities to both of these to zero so they're not being affected at all. And then we'll just click one, two, three, four, until you get some highlight here. Maybe, maybe 0.5. Just keep it at 0 0.5. 0 0.4 or 0.5. There it is. You can move around the, the material because only the boss level guy should get the high shininess. For soldiers, it won't be nearly as shiny. Okay. And let's see if we if we take off the metallic off of these principal shaders. All right. What I did was I just took the metallic off the principal shaders. And now I can see about this let's see now it's just a color what is happening hold on oh not the second one the first one uh, I guess you could show by the metallic you know you could do that change these colors the first color make it go in further I have to fix this so it's like not as like intense between four point point forty five to point forty six. Like what if it was like point four five five? You know? Point four five six. Point four five seven. You know what I mean? And then the second color here, it goes between it, it actually just turns out so quickly. Same thing. I have to fix this. So point four Five point four three. This gold army here, we gotta change this. Yeah, so anyway, it's all up to, to you, you know, like uh, you're, you're messing with the metallic, you're messing with the light. You're messing with uh, this thing going on here. It's a it's a fun look. Also with the colors, I know there's a lot to affect. Maybe there's too many options. Maybe make this a darker color. You can't even see that second color. Look, I can change it into a red, and you can't even see it. Let's see. Where is that second color? There it is. <laughs> make it a red armor. Uh, Kelly, I do not like uh, war. Oh, well, uh, I used to want to collect the Warhammers, but I'm no, not really. No, <laughs> I'll say no. I don't like Warhammer. <laughs> Probably take off the Fresnel. You can add in a cool gradient, and instead of it being red and blue. You make it into yellow and maybe like a an orange. 
There we go. Get this like red red gradient armor thing going on. Looks kind of cool. Right? Let's see what it looks like with this one, the top bottom. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta fix this gradient from light source, but. Add a little bit of gradient here. Look at that. It's looking looking better. He's a blood angel prim march, so a mix with red and gold actually fits. Yeah, so yeah, if you put the gradient on with some like some 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 gradient there, maybe the fresnel. Let's put the fresnel on. Let's put it. Let's make it like also the same colors. Uh, but let's rotate it. rotate it so it's like his side right right there or let's make them both red put the Fresnel on <laughs> it's interesting I say without it though uh, and then one thing you should fix on your model not fix but do is this should have like a thickness Right now it's like super thin. Like all this should have some sort of some thickness here. a little bit I don't know uh, let's see also some of these Interesting what's happening here with some of these. I will continue. These are flat shaded. If you put them to auto smooth, that looks kind of neat. You have to like tweak them though a little more now because these are now shaded differently instead of flat. But they can look kind of cool here. You could probably select the arms only and like duplicate this so then you can really affect this one this is also the second color is not coming in real real bright so we'll bring it in Anyway, same thing with this. Not much detail on the, on the legs there. Not that it needs it, I'm just saying. Anyway, up to you. This is basically... Basically it. So, uh, Kelly, you have, uh, you have access to the file. Uh, I'll send you this. I don't know if I affected anything. I'll send it back to you. But... That's basically how you do it. Oh man, who else is in the chat? Anybody in the chat? Anybody? Kelly? Ferd? I know Evelyn's in there somewhere. All right. Saved it. Present. Look at that. I got my attendance set. 
Okay. We have derailed. Let me focus up again. I, I got about 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. And I like to uh, I like to get maybe one more material finished here. All right, let's see if we could do like a another energy material. I, 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 I they always take a long time to make though, so I don't think I can I can finish one, but we will see if we can. All right, let's see what we're gonna start with. We'll duplicate this guy. We'll do it. We'll move him on the two. This is like a weird tile thing going on. We'll just call this tile. How many tiles do I have? Okay. Tile. We'll erase this end. Dot zero zero. And we'll call it effects. And we'll see about making it, making an effect f from scratch. We'll use the tune shader, so we'll, we'll keep this guy around. Actually, I want to keep gold around. That's what I want. So I'm going to just copy this. Erase this. Copy gold. Because we're going to, we're going to use an effect. Thank you so much for your help, Chris Mikey. Yes, Kelly, no problem, no problem. I'll s and I'll send you that project file uh, soon, probably within the next few hours. I got work to do, and I'll get to you. I'll send it. I'll send it back. But hopefully that helps you. Like I said, you already have access to this gold material. It's in the page. It's on the Patreon. Uh, okay, so let's do the gold. That's good stuff. But let's let's start from the basics guys let's do let's, this, is, this is how all all effects are made this is how all little baby effects are made when an emission shader and a transparent shader meet they have they they so a, 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 an emission shader meets a transparent shader and they mix together and they make nothing they make a bright a bright light We can make it a different color just for the effect. Let's do blue. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, we'll put the put the emissions on the bottom. Okay, make the emissions blue. Make it bright, and it shines like nobody else. All right. So this is the basis we're getting there. Good stuff. So the next thing we got to do is in the settings here make sure this is set to alpha blend and this is set to no shadow uh, and now let's do the basic of effects we'll do a fresnel real quick easy stuff see what that looks like we already got a hologram going bam whoa so cool holograms we like holograms cool 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 so let's let's have some fun usually when we have fun we we have fun so this is all this is, is just these four three four nodes so we'll just move this away all right so let's do some affecting on the vector for this so we'll do a texture let's do uh let's do a veroni texture and we'll affect the normals here that's interesting looks like kaleidoscopy You know, maybe it's a little too bright though. We'll make it bright enough. Whoa, whoa, so cool. We'll add in a texture mapping on this. But honestly, instead of texture mapping, I've been really privy to doing that normal stuff. So let's do a vector normal. Oh shoot, I messed it up. A vector normal. We'll put in generated and we'll put in the vector here. This is like an interesting scan thing. Boom, 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 boom. Let me get the camera and uh, kind of zoom in on this, on this action here. So you can see it on, you can see it here as well. 
It's invisible in certain angles. Like it, like it's like a reflective thing. So that's not really a cool effect, huh? It's not really cool. So let's let's figure out what we can do here. Let's do instead of normal. Let's just do a dot. That's weird. That's funky. And you can see from different angles it looks different. And that's why I like to do it with these different cameras. It looks pretty different here. You know what I mean? Alright. So let's do... For the, instead of doing it onto the normal, actually, let's do this. Instead of making an emission node, let's just use the principal shader. The principal shader gives us so many options. It could be a little daunting, but we'll do it. So we will, there's our emissions and we'll put our strength up. We'll put the color up, we'll put it blue. There's our emissions, right? But now that we have the principal shader, we can do something. We can have more fun, right? Let's see if we can add this to like different things. Like, oh, what is it? Is it normals? Is that what I'm thinking about? Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so it's not acting the way I, I want. So let's go to vector. We'll add in a bump. And we'll put this the distance to the height, take off the normal. This is just me experimenting. I don't know. Sometimes this doesn't work. So definitely not in there. But we'll keep that there for now. We'll put this in emissions. It's probably going to be black and white. And since it's so bright, you really can't tell the difference here. So let us let me put the emissions strength to 1. Uh, and I'm going to add in a color ramp in between this. You see how this, are, this just starts building and building and building. I can see why it gets a little daunting for people. We're going to do constant. So just so we can see the difference here. That ain't much. Can we make it different colors? Let's see. All right, we're gonna take this off. Let's not do the normals for now. Thought it was working for me, it's not. So, okay, now we have an emissions, color ramp, blah, 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 blah. Now this is making more sense here. Now we can put the strength up. Gives us an, a weird <laughs> texture there. All right. This looks like a little a grainy staticky effect. You know, obviously if we made this like a blue and a white, you know, this would make more sense. Make these large. Uh, and instead of distance, what we'll do is we'll also take off the normal here. Uh, instead of distance or instead of a uh, constant, we'll do a linear. We'll go back to linear. Let's see, what are we making? What are we making? How are we feeling here? We're just winging it. We're just moving. We're moving in a direction, just so we have some movement. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to add in the tune shader onto the for now on the IOR. I'm just curious what this would do. A lot going on here. Oh, is it, is it already doing it? Oh, no. It's frozen. This is hella weird. So let's see. 
<laughs> I can kind of see through it. But can I change the outcome here with this shader? Oh, I can. I just have to make all these white. There it is. So let's add in some, some depth here. It's an interesting look. kind of looks magical and it's just because of this uh, noise texture here if we take it off you can see that it's just kind of weird <laughs> all right a little bright though all right right bring it down to one so we can see what's happening Alright, let's see, let's see. I think this is is okay, so we're just gonna iterate on this. And we're gonna make a, a second version of this. This should have been called FX. And this should have been called tile. There we go. We'll save. All right, let's do this. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's uh, we'll make a second version of this. Let's try and make something else. Let's try and make something else. This is and this is making materials, guys. This is how people make materials. It may be boring, but this is definitely the process. You sit here and you're like, usually you have something to to aim for, right? Which is better, <laughs> the better. It's the better thing to do, I should say. I don't know, but sometimes you just wanna wanna play here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a gradient at the top here. We'll make this we'll make this red. And we're gonna do a gradient. So let's do a texture. Gradients. Control T. Uh what's we'll the gradient to the top here? Uh, we'll rotate this gradient on the Y about negative 90 degrees. We'll bring it up on the X, and there is our, you know, our gradient going up. Vroom. Like it's coming back on, coming back online, right? So that's good. Uh, one thing we want to do is maybe we want to have a variation of the color. So we'll do a color ramp. We'll put the gradient on here. And then we'll make this the red that we connect to the emissions. Doesn't seem like much right now. But we can change the color to something else. We can have two different colors going. Right? And we can still control the look right boom a boom a boom all right I like this uh, what I don't like though right I'm just talking out loud here for all to hear but I don't what I don't like is when I go all the way to the top it has like no details right I like some shadow right but since we're working with an emissions it's not producing a shadow we also have it shadow mode off so let's make some fake shadows and we do that by adding in an ambient occlusion. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure ambient occlusion is turned on. It is. Good stuff. We'll do an input ambient occlusion. Uh, and honestly, I'm just going to copy some of these settings over here. I already have a setup here somewhere. Oh, it's here. This is insane. What did I? What am I doing with my life? So I'm using the AO, not the color, in a color ramp. That's the factor. Blah, blah, blah. That's all I need to know. We'll go back. Okay. Boom. Put the AO into a color ramp. We'll add in another mix shader. And that's going to be into the factor. Um, and then we're going to add in a second emissions, which will make, let's say, a dark color. 
we'll put that in there. Alright, and then the distance. Interesting what's even happening here. I'm not even sure. Should I turn off back face culling? Okay. Back face culling. Not even not even sure what's happening, but it looks kinda interesting. So we're gonna put our show back face culling off. Uh we'll take off local. And it's dark, and I think it's light on the sides because these these things are next to it. So let's isolate this guy, and he is dark, so he he is getting that light from the sides of him. You know what I mean? The sides. So let's let's actually let's actually add to this. So let's go to a vector, a math. We're gonna add more to it. Or should I say multiply? Let's multiply. What's crazy is that with the ambient occlusion, I have this shade this smooth, but you can start seeing like these. I don't know, like every single <laughs> vertice. Everything is set to smooth though, so it sucks that that happens. right that sucks anyway so now when we set this down interesting what's happening here let's add in a different shader what if it was like I guess it's only dark it should only be dark what if it was transparent Okay, we're making it clear. It's kind of interesting what we got going on here. It's like the, the little highlights. It's like it's only being seen. Let's see. Rotate. Alright, maybe maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Let's add in a, a wavy part to it. So for right now, we will skip out on the ambient inclusion. So we can see this. We'll bring this down to one. Alright, and now let's make it let's make this a wavy. Taking an ambient occlusion out of the way. Okay. So that's good. So usually to make something wavy, right? Like I use the wave texture. But we do it in the vector point. So let's add in a wave texture. And we're going to do the mapping here. Uh, and we're just going to add in these, 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 we're going to add these in. So let's, do, let's do it a couple different ways. Let's see what it does. So we got mix RGB. We'll mix the top, the bottom. And when we put it into the vector here, we got wavies. Let's do it on the Y. It's kind of weird. Just actually not what I expected here. Uh, let's set a set of mix. Let's do a uh, linear light. All right, you know, and this obviously can have like a, a weird look here. Obviously, we'll, not obviously, but we'll put in a value here where it's the frame or whatever. They should just have that in here, honestly. Pick divide, put this here. Right. 
But instead of that, let's do like a vector math instead, right? So we'll do a converter vector math. And we'll do multiply. Psychedelic. Mm hmm. I thought I was going a certain direction here, but I was trying to make basically a fire. Basic fire. Let's put the same shader on a flat. Wrong one. All right. If we can make a flames. There we go. Let's rotate to the zone of ninety and then move it up on the X. Such a mess. Okay, 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 okay. wavy in the wrong direction. Let's see. Let's do add. There we go. I'm going to add in a color ramp onto the top here on the gradient texture. Uh, put And put another dark color at the end here. <laughs> there it is. We have a gradient wave. Look at all that work I did for essentially this wave. Mm -hmm. Psychedelic, bro. A lot of work for this. All right, so we do that. Let's let's do some organization here. It's good to be organized so you can somehow somewhat read this. There we go. Okay, all right, we're getting there. We're getting, we got a wave now. What happens when we put this right in the center? All right, we'll put this at 0.5 and we'll squish this down. interesting <laughs> All right, we'll go back to add and let me make sure that it's not better to um, use the color mixing, right? I've seen people do that. They usually do linear or something. Linear light. 
then you should get the top one, and then they'll get uh, this guy, and they'll do it, and then they'll add it. Now it looks like it does the same thing. Guess it doesn't matter. Wavy, some different colors here. All right, what else can we do to this? Let's see some different options here. We have distortion, make the waves more frequent, frequent. Instead of sign, let's do a saw. This looks interesting. How about triangle? Triangle makes them sharp. We'll do sign and we'll do rings. Rings kind of give it an interesting look. <laughs> this looks like an old broken TV now. A cool looking broken TV. Got, got some psychedelic stuff going. We'll do bands again. object there it is instead of generator it should be an object that's better all right let's see if we can do something cleaner here where we can multiply Definitely stretch these out. Look at that. This is like an energy blast. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Now that we have these guys going, let's affect it even more. Let's bring this guy there. Let's bring these guys over here. Uh, well, I think I have to cut my stream short, guys. We were trying to make an effect, but duty calls. 
So I'm gonna need to 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 get on that. I hope uh, today's stream wasn't so haphazard. It wasn't too haphazard <laughs> because I I don't think I I had a plan for this one at all. So hopefully there was some learning tidbits in there. I know uh, Mo was here and uh, I helped him out with some Fresnel, and Kelly was here and I helped him out with some materials there too. So hopefully that was good. Um, Ferd, you said always fun to watch you do your stuff. Good to know. Sometimes I sit here and I feel like I'm yelling into the void. So I appreciate you being here. We appreciate you bringing us continued improvement on Cellular Shader. No problem, Kelly. Very specific compliment. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Alright, guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Goodbye. I appreciate everybody here.